Islam. I will bless the Lord at all times with no shame. His majesty I proclaim, true and supreme Elohim. The earth full of church goers who be claiming they know him. The Bible told it and quoted, live it to give it your shame. Every no name irrelevant, only the famous prevalent. If you ain't got no bag, you ain't got no swag. Don't get your credit delicate. It's all about the president sleeping in the dirt. You wanna be like Jay Williams? You gon' have to put in work. So what? You got the evidence of theology. I'm from Chilltown, JC, where survival is cheap. The world is straight. Oh, yo, you know the name of the game. How low you willing to go? Sign just to become a slave. Yo, the way your holiness is not right. It's the opposite of pride. The way to treat the life of Christ the Bible. Pay close attention, cause what I'm spitting is classified. And you fake ballers don't let you call it pass you by. Yeah, that's blessed, just to be alive. Stars hang around the sun. So every day shine. Haters let's spread that they don't face. Nah, we bless the so rest. Say God's core. The top of my core is amazing. Ain't no shame for the game, I'ma praise him. From the north to the south, to the east to the west, we bless so God's so praise him. My God, my God is amazing. Ain't no shame for the game, I'ma praise him. From the north to the south, to the east to the west, we bless so God's so praise him. Yo, you see me in my glory, but y'all know my story. Wasn't for y'all, you'd be crocking down in my memorial. Salvation solid gold, struggle my inspiration. Thank God for your sure. Without him, I'd be a mental patient. I've been through the storm, through the rain, through the hurt, through the pain. I know the low. Pioneering since most of y'all was babies digging up your nose. Set the fly to flow. The illest and the realest. I'm that jigger riding on that nag, tipping them kippers. God for the church, I'm the bishop, but I ain't got no members. William Brown, the more age. Shalom to the booming limbers. Reality is black diamonds, 3D, baby. Kosher the beverage, Troy Edwards, 3HP, baby. It's simple mathematics, the writing on the wall. There's only one Lord of the might, Christ the Son of God. First of all, many of you need to reevaluate your situation. You need to get on your face, turn your plate over and seek Holy Spirit. Many of you need to seek God and say, God, am I where you want me to be? And am I doing what you call me to do? Because let me tell you something. The tragedy in life that, that is the most severe, the most heart-wrenching, is not the list of things that are hideous and wicked like trafficking, rape molestation, manipulation, you know, verbal assassination, physical harm, stabbing, shooting. It's like busting you in the head with a brick, busting your head with a pipe, or somebody stealing your vehicle, or breaking in your house and ramshacking and taking your valuables. Somebody rolling up on you, putting that thing thing up against your noggin, putting the 12 gauge against the side of your rear. Somebody stabbing you in your back who you thought was your best thing. Those things are hideous and horrible. But let me tell you, the worst tragedy ever is for you and I to live a full life 
and then to leave this life without ever acknowledging the call of God on our life. That's the most tragic thing ever. To live our lives and to be highly acclaimed for this and that, to receive awards and receive citations and all type of paperwork on the wall and all type of prestige and acknowledgement from men and women and organizations, all type of honorary degrees and this and that, uh, to receive all of this pomp and circumstance, achievements in academia, achievements in entertainment, achievements in the business world, being the number one stock investor, uh, being the richest so-and-so, uh, being the one who has the greatest portfolio of real estate, being a great typhoon in the culinary area of life, being an awesome guru in health and fitness, to have all of this and then to die and stand before God and hear him say, I know you did a lot on the earth and I know your name rang bells. I know there were a lot of phone calls that you answered, but there was one calling that you never answered. I just want to ask you, how come you never answered my call on your life? How come you never gave me a yes? You say yes to everybody else. To this event, that event, to this showcase, to that place, this place. You said yes to this, this collaboration, this collabo. You said yes to this video shoot and yes to that fashion show. Yes to this business deal and that business venture. But God will say, what have you done with the call? that I have called you to. You've answered everybody else's call, but what about the call of God on your life for you to die without ever answering or acknowledging the call of God in your life? That is the ultimate tragedy. Tragedy thing. Even if tragedy was a word, it's a word now. The tragedy thing, the most tragedy thing, the greatest tragedy of all is to be in that space, in that place where you've never answered the call of God in your life. Though people acknowledge you, you walked in it, oh, praise the Lord, Bishop. Praise the Lord, Apostle. Oh, Prophet Ted, Prophet. Oh, oh, praise the Lord, Evangelist. Praise the God. Oh, teacher, he's a great teacher. He's a great teacher. But to never answer the call of God in your life and then to sit around with people and to gloat as if you the bomb.com and you know you've never done what God has called you to do. That's horrible. That's horrible horrible yes trafficking is a horrible crime but there's so many religious folk trafficking souls into their religious places they call the church when it's a it's a it's a ratchet place where god is not even there 99.9 percent .9 of the time if not at all 